Good morning, everyone. How are we doing today? Hello, hello, hello. Come on in and join us. How is everyone doing today? Glad to see you. Thank you so much for those hearts already. Good morning, good morning. All right, so we are going to be, good morning, discussing uh, some tips and tricks for our direct sales friends, all right? Uh, so first off, before we even get started, uh, allow me to, um, good morning, good morning, thank you. Uh, good morning, and just thank you all for joining us, uh, truly. To be honest, you could have spent your time anywhere this morning. So I'm thankful that you chose to come here and spend that time with me and with everyone else here in the room. So uh, just thank you again for joining. For those of you who may not know me, my name is Buffy Hood, and I am a, a Premier Designs jeweler. Been with them for nine years. Premier Designs is a direct sales company, but we actually consider ourselves to be more of a direct service company. Uh, as we do focus more on service than on sales, okay? Uh, now, today, we're going to be touching on something special, okay? Uh, this is something uh, that is specially for my jewelry friends, okay? So, especially for anyone um, who is in a direct sales company uh, that, that tends to focus somewhat on appearance. So we're going to say like jewelry, cosmetics, clothing, etc. Okay. Um, but truly this is for any person who is in direct sales, has their own business, etc. Okay. So uh, by a show of one in the box, if you are a direct sales rep for any company uh, and that is your main job. So meaning you are otherwise a stay at home mom, work from home mom, uh, et cetera. If that sounds like you put a one in the box for me, uh, if premier is premier or any other direct sales company is your, um, your main job, meaning you don't have another day job that you currently report to put a one in the box. Do we only have one here? Really? We don't have any. Okay. Do we have any other stay at home moms here uh, who perhaps are stay at home moms, but do not have their own business? Uh, if so, put a one in the box. One ish. Uh, okay. Oh, okay. Okay. Well, yeah. Well, that's what I'm meaning is basically if you don't have a, if you don't have another uh, job that you have to report to. Okay, or, I mean, truly, to be honest, we're even talking about on days that you don't have a job to report to, okay? So we all have those days off, even if we do work for another company, okay? Even if we do work outside of the home. Um, yes, yes, I have heard that. I have heard that as well. I've heard that as well. I just thought that with the, with the people that I have on at this time of day that perhaps... <laughs> Yes. Okay. All right. Okay. So we have some of y'all here. All right. So all of this comes to say that, especially when you are a business owner, but even more so, oh, teacher, that makes sense. That makes sense. Okay. Well then this is going to be suited for you as well, because you have the entire summer in, in most cases. Okay. You have the summer that you don't have a job that you have to report to. Okay. Or even on the weekends, when you don't have a job that you have to report to. But for those stay-at-home moms who don't have a job that they have to report to, you know, that that's kind of what we're getting at. All right, so here's, here's my tip and trick for those of us who are in direct sales, especially, but even for those who are stay-at-home moms, here's my tip and trick. Get up in the morning, do your hair, do your makeup, get dressed. Okay. Here's, here's why I'm saying that when I was a stay at home mom, all right, I, it, it, it was a rarity for me to even get out of my PJs. Okay. It just was not, it, it, well, depending on what time it is where you are, Jennifer, that's totally okay. 
<laughs> okay. So, but here's the thing. When I was a stay-at-home mom, if somebody would have called me up at nine o'clock in the morning and said, hey, let's go grab brunch somewhere, I wouldn't have been able to go because I wouldn't have been ready. There's no way that I would have, like, I would have needed an hour to two hours to get up, get dressed, you know, be able to get my shower, all of that kind of stuff. So I would have declined on a regular basis, okay? If somebody would have called me, even for that matter, when I was a stay-at-home mom, even if somebody would have called me up around lunchtime, guess what, y'all? I still wouldn't have been able to just get up and go out on the drop of a dime, okay? Because nine times out of ten, I was still running around in my sweatpants, in my t-shirt, whatever. Some days, I didn't even have sweatshirt and t-shirt on. Some days, I just had my robe on. That I was literally, like, not fit for company or going out in public, okay? So, here's, yes, okay? So, so here's my thing, though. Especially for those of us who are in Premier or any other direct sales uh, that kind of relates to, well, really, any other direct sales, <laughs> okay? Because here's the thing. I don't care if you sell Tupperware. If you do not carry yourself in a professional manner, people are not going to view you as having a business. They may view you as having a hobby, but they will not view you as having a business. Okay. So here's my thing. We need to make sure that we are carrying ourselves in a way at all times that people would not be surprised to find out that we are in fact business owners. Okay. So I want you to really like think about that, okay? Um, now here's the thing: I'm not saying you got to be dressed to the nines all the time. I'm not saying you got to walk around in you know a pantsuit and and you know briefcase and all that to be able to prove that you are a professional. But I don't ever. Good morning. But I would not ever want someone to look at me and be surprised that I do something that relates to the fashion industry. And if people would look at you with a very puzzled look on their face, if you were out and about and they ran into you, maybe it's an old high school friend and they run into you somewhere and they're like, oh, hey, so what are you doing these days? And you're like, oh, well, I'm in the fashion industry. You know, I'm with Premier Designs Jewelry. Would they look at you and be like, seriously? Okay. You don't want to be someone that they would not want to take fashion advice from. If you're going to tell them that you're in the fashion industry, okay? But even if you are selling Tupperware, if you're selling Tastefully Simple, if you're selling Scentsy, okay? If you're running around in sweatpants and t-shirt, and then you try to tell people that you are a business professional, you're not looking the part, okay? You're just not. And if you don't look the part, people will not feel confident and comfortable working with you through a professional relationship, okay? Now, this part is specifically going to go out to my, my jewelry peeps, okay? So how many how many Premier Designs jewelry people do we have here? Put a one in the box if you are Premier Designs jewelry. Put a one in the box. Thank you. It didn't used to be a vest. <laughs> Look at all these Premier peeps. I love it. You like my Christmas style? <laughs> yes, it didn't used to be a vest. It used to have sleeves. But the sleeves were a little constricting. And I already had a ridiculous number of jean jackets. So I decided I liked this one better as a vest. So we said, and just ripped those sleeves right on off. Um, all right, so... To all my Premier Designs peeps, okay, this one specifically goes out to you, all right? If you are not wearing your jewelry, how on earth are you going to promote that you sell jewelry, <laughs> okay? This is one of the biggest reasons why I love selling jewelry, okay, or offering jewelry for free, whatever you want to say, okay, because here's the thing. Jewelry is the number one item 
that any stranger will compliment another stranger on, okay? However, if you're not wearing it, or if you are not wearing it well, okay? So let's also touch on this. Yes, we are jewelry ladies. Yes, we love to be able to wear that bling, but please make sure that even your combinations make sense, okay? If you're not sure about your combinations, seek help from fellow jewelers. Send a quick picture, something that says, hey, I'm not, I'm not quite sure about this. What do you think, okay? Because here's the thing. Even if we like it, we want to make sure that it's something that would attract the attention of people who are not jewelers. Does that make sense? Okay, because y'all, put a two in the box if you've been to Rally and you know and you know what I'm talking about, okay? Put a two in the box if you have been to Rally and you know what I'm talking about, okay? Girls, at Rally, we do way different jewelry than we do in our everyday life, okay? We do very different jewelry at Rally than we do in our everyday life. Please make sure that you are also being careful of that in your everyday life at home because even though, as an example, okay, even though there are certain things that at trainings, rallies, etc., may work because we are all jewelry ladies and, and we kind of understand that type thing, the majority of people out there who are not in the jewelry business may not necessarily understand certain things. Does that, does that make sense? Did everyone lose sound or, or just Jennifer? Did anyone else lose sound? If you did, put a, put a one. Can you hear me? <laughs> okay, so you still have sound? Awesome. Okay, no one else lost sound. You might need to um, pop out and come back in. We have a couple. Yeah, read my lips, right? Um, okay, all right. So yeah, for those of you who are having trouble with sound, you might have to pop out and pop back in. Um, so yeah, so here's here's the thing. And by the way, if I, I always forget to do this, okay? But if you feel like someone here, or someone you know rather, is not here in the room and might need to be able to hear this, make sure that you share this out with all of your followers, okay? Um, and then feel free to share this broadcast after the broadcast is over. You can also share this uh, by coming back to the broadcast, clicking share broadcast, um, and be able to copy the link to be able to share that on Facebook, Twitter, or wherever, okay? Um, all right, let's get back into this, right? Okay, but here's the thing. We wanna make sure that what we're wearing looks good enough that people are going to want to compliment us. Not that they're gonna look at us and go, boy, she just pulled like everything out of her jewelry box and threw it all on at one time, okay? You wanna make sure that those combinations make sense. And again, if you are not sure, if you're not 100% positive whether or not they do, text a picture out to one of your fellow jewelry ladies and say, hey, look, I'm getting ready to go do this. Does this make sense? Um, because again, Ladies love giving their opinions. So you will, there will not be a shortage of ladies willing to tell you either yay or nay, okay? So that's something that you could, you know, perhaps do, okay? Um, just to make sure that you are doing it well, all right? Because you want people to compliment you. That's one of the greatest things about the jewelry and the fact that that is the number one thing that one stranger will compliment another stranger on is, it brings up and sparks natural conversation. It does not have to be forced, okay? So when someone says, oh, I love that, I love that necklace, I love those earrings, I love that bracelet, I love that ring, whatever, it gives you an opening to share your business, okay? Now, if you are in this business and you do not wear jewelry when you go out and about, People are not going to have the ability to compliment you on something and spark that natural conversation. All right. Now, y'all will be able to appreciate this because I do my best to try to make sure that anytime I leave the house, that I am fully dressed as in bling and all. Okay. But 
there was one time, I, I want to say it was like two years ago, three years ago maybe, uh, my husband and I were working in the yard. Midway of working in the yard, we realized that we were in need of more mulch. So we needed to hurry up and hop in the van and get back over to get more mulch before they were closed for the day. And so needless to say, I went there looking a hot mess. I I was like stained with mulch. I had my 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 baseball hat on, um, you know, my jean or my jean shorts, my t-shirt, etc. We go into Lowe's and I see this lady and I'm telling you, you know she was there with her hubby and she was decked out. And I'm like, "Oh, I need to talk to her." I need to talk to her, but I so do not look the part of the jewelry lady, okay? Y'all, I could have allowed that to be enough to prevent me from talking to her. Instead, what I did was I walked over and I said, I am so sorry. I don't mean to interrupt your shopping trip here. I said, I just had to tell you, although I don't look like it right now, because I usually look much cuter than this, I am in the fashion industry and I could not help but notice you have such an amazing polished, pulled together look. And I couldn't help but think that you might be able to appreciate what we have to offer in Premier. Are you familiar with Premier Designs? And she went, well, no. And I said, well, I would just love to be able to get you a catalog. I'm sorry I don't have anything on hand with me right now. Would you be willing to jot down your information? And I'd be happy to pop that in the mail to you tomorrow. And I, I went ahead and did it. But I explained to her, look, we've just been working out in the yard. I'm covered in mulch. I apologize. I don't even have any jewelry on to be able to show you today. Okay, but here's the thing. You don't want that to be your everyday thing. You want it to be where people can compliment you on your jewelry and start that, that natural conversation. Um, and again, regardless of what business you are in, if you're not carrying yourself in a professional way, as a business owner, especially when you are out representing your business, okay? Have I lost, have I lost y'all? Because I don't see, I, I haven't seen any hearts. I haven't seen any comments. Okay, I just want to make sure Periscope has been weird. <laughs> so just making sure. Thank you for that flow of hearts. I know many of you are in the process of getting ready for those day jobs and, and things like that. So no problem, no problem. Just want to make sure we weren't having technical difficulties. Um, yes. So, so the biggest thing is you just want to make sure that you are looking the part. Okay. And here's the thing about getting yourself up and getting yourself ready, even when you have no place to be. Okay. We're going to touch on this real quick too. Even if you have no place to be, guess what? Let's say someone decides to drop by. I had, I had an incident the other day, um, where, Listen, girl, I understand I need to do laundry in a major way. Um, so good for you. <laughs> uh, so here's the thing. The other day, uh, I was doing a sample sales um, or sample auction, rather, on Facebook. Well, the woman who she had won a couple of items, and needless to say, she called me to be able to process her payment. I said, okay, great. Tell me your shipping address. She says, actually... I'm literally like 10 minutes from your house. Would it be okay for me to just pop by and pick them up so I don't have to pay the shipping cost? Okay. Thankfully, because of me having to get up and get myself ready to do my 8 a.m. periscopes, I was dressed. I had on my bling. I was presentable. Okay. How many of y'all, <laughs> I can't wait to see this one. I want to see who admits it. How many of y'all, by putting a one in the box, have ever been at home on your lazy days and someone knocks on your door and you literally hide because you would rather hide than have to answer the door for that neighbor or for that friend, whatever, because you know you do not, you're not dressed. You're not looking presentable. <laughs> okay. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. And let's see here, Sue, that is exactly it. That is exactly it. Yes. Okay. I got so tired of neighbors knocking on the door. And when that would have been a prime time for me to be dressed, wearing my bling so that they could compliment me, what do you think I was doing? Instead, I'm hiding behind a wall and making my kids answer the door. Okay. <laughs> That's not, 
That's not, we shouldn't be doing that. We shouldn't be doing that. We should be ready to go to do business. And just like Sue had posted, it is a real job. View it that way. Okay. Um, yes. Yes. So here's the thing. If you start viewing it as a real job and you get yourself up in the morning and you get yourself dressed and you get yourself ready to go. Okay. See, see, and this is, this is what I'm talking about, Jenny. Okay. Here's the thing. There is a point in time during the day when you will find me in just my PJs. Okay. And that time is usually around seven, eight o'clock at night. I go put my comfy clothes on. Okay. And then that's, that's it. That's like seven, eight o'clock at night, unless we're out running around doing other things by seven, eight o'clock. That's it. I'm done. Okay. Um, but listen, Jennifer, you can be a jeans and t-shirt kind of person, but you can use your jewelry to jazz up those jeans and t-shirts. Okay. Now I will say if your t-shirts are like screen print, that might be difficult to be able to jazz that up. Okay. It's not going to look as nice, but if you have plain t-shirts, just solid colored t-shirts, girl, just use your jewelry to dress it up. Okay. You don't have to have new clothes necessarily. Um, yes. See, look, solid colored V-neck t-shirts should be your very best friend. Okay. Because you can do so much with a solid colored V-neck t-shirt. All right. Yes. So I promise you, look, just play with the jewelry because it will work. It will work. Yes. Nod to Mod is a great piece. Yes. And, and here's, here's the thing. I, I am a firm believer that there's nothing on my table that has not been worn with jeans and a t-shirt. There just isn't. Okay. Because I do typically do jeans and t-shirts. Um, you know, especially during the week. Now, once I started doing my periscopes, that changed a little bit, okay? Because again, if I'm going to come on here onto Periscope as someone who works in the fashion industry, I don't want someone else getting on here who doesn't know me and being like, really, she, she's in the fashion industry, you know? So that's, that's the biggest reason why you all don't necessarily see me in the t-shirts, okay? But prior to me doing Periscopes, t-shirts was like every day. Um, with the exception of if I was going to church, if I was going to small group, if we were going out to dinner, if we were doing a show, whatever, that was, that was the only difference. But in terms of everyday wear, jeans and t-shirt is what I wore. Okay. So you can absolutely do that. Just dress it up with bling. All right. But here's the thing. If you get yourself up, you get yourself dressed. Um, awesome. Well, I love hearing that, Jenny. Love hearing that. Okay. So if you get yourself up and you get yourself dressed, you know, showered, hair done, makeup done, etc. Now, y'all, and I'm not saying you got to spend a ridiculous amount of time on these things. Okay. Here's the thing. I, and I'll have to see, cause that did just pop up in my memories on Facebook. So I might have to share that out again. Um, even though hair is much different now, but I had done a, a post on my jewelry lady page I don't know, probably two years ago. Um, <laughs> there you go. Um, I had a, a moment where I did um, kind of a take time for you thing. And I, I hear ladies say all the time, I just, I don't have time to take care of me. I don't have time to take care of me between the kids and the dog and the husband and the house and this and that. I don't, I don't have time to take care of me. Okay. So I did a thing the one time where I literally took just a couple of minutes, a couple of minutes to do a little extra. And I timed myself and actually put like the before and after and the time on a screenshot from off of my phone to show what the length of time was to be able to achieve that look. Okay. And we're talking makeup that can be done in about five minutes quick little things that you can do to your hair in five minutes that will give you more of a polished pulled together look like all these different things changing from a you know a, a t-shirt to a cute top and from out of sneakers to a cute pair of sandals and 
and that kind of so things that really didn't take that much longer because here here's the thing y'all let's be honest okay it takes you the same amount of time to put on a pair of yoga pants and a t-shirt as what it takes you to put on a pair of jeans and a cute top it takes the same amount of time for you to be able to put on a, a pair of sneakers or flip-flops as what it does for you to put on a cute pair of sandals all right so it, it's a matter of choosing differently what it is that you're going to be doing now y'all when i go out and i go fishing or i go crabbing or anything like that or, or we go you know hiking geocache whatever i'm not dressed all cute okay i'm not i'm just not okay but at those times i still have on my earrings and i still have on my jewelry lady baseball cap that still there is a way to spark up some conversation okay so it's it's just a matter of doing those kind of things um yes well here's the thing even if you can't do cute shoes you can do a cute top okay so it listen i understand because one of our girls um you know what incentives used to have them that's where i got mine years ago i don't know if they still do or not good morning good morning um <laughs> you do wear flats for shows gotcha okay so here's the thing we do have one of our girls tanya she had had um foot surgery and now she has been struggling <laughs> with trying to find those cute shoes that she's able to do and she has found a few pair um but here's the thing she still looks cute because of the other clothes that she's wearing and the and the jewelry that she's added and and doing her hair and doing her makeup and that sort of thing that it totally takes the focus off of the shoes if people are only focusing on your shoes, then you might be doing something wrong with your jewelry and the rest of your outfit. Okay, does that make sense? <laughs> you're welcome, Tanya. I didn't even know you were in here. See, look at that. I can give you props even when you're when I don't know that you're around, right? Um, so, yes, yeah. So, see, there you go. So you can do, you can do those things. But here's here's what happens when you get yourself up and you get yourself ready for the day. You are truly ready for the day. You are going to get so much more accomplished. You're going to feel like you can literally get out there and conquer the world. When you suddenly realize that, oh, shoot, I got to run down to the post office. Guess what? You can jump up and just go because you're ready to go. You're, you took the time to get yourself ready first thing in the morning so that no matter what came up throughout the day, it wouldn't have to be put off until you were ready. Okay. Yes. And that, that used to be me prior to periscopes, which is another reason why we moved the periscopes from 12 in the afternoon to eight in the morning, because I wanted to be ready from the get go. I wanted to be ready to get on with my day and be able to go out and get things done. I didn't want it to be where I'm sitting around in my loungewear for the first half of the day, finally getting myself ready just before scope. And then only having a couple of hours before my hubby gets home. Um, yes. So here's the thing. You can be casual and cute at the same time. Don't mistake that. Don't mistake that. Okay. So all we're saying, though, is, again, if you are trying to look the part of a professional, you're trying to look the part of someone who is in the fashion industry, it's probably not a good idea to be running around constantly in jeans that just are not um, very nice. <laughs> okay. Um, yes. Okay. So here's the thing. I've seen some jeans that, look, jeans are cute. I'm not saying you can't wear jeans, but what I'm saying is if all you have are mom jeans that are stained and look like they need to see the garbage can rather than be on your body, then you might just want to get rid of those jeans. Okay, find yourself some cute, trendy, but classic, okay, you can find trendy but classic jeans that you're going to be able to wear and get many years of use out of, all right? And if you don't have the money to go get it new, look, go check out Goodwill, go check out wherever, any secondhand store, all right? Sometimes you can find brand new jeans that still have the tags on them from the department store and you can pick them up for two or three bucks at, at Goodwill. Okay, so don't use the excuse of, I don't have anything. Take what you have and do your best to make it cute, okay? And here's the thing. If you only have a couple of different things, then yes, you might need to do yourself a favor. Take a little bit of your profit from each show, 
set it back into a little fund for you to be able to get yourself um, a little bit better clothes and more clothes that you have a better selection of. Y'all, that's why I went through my closet. That's why I went through my closet and just purged because I had things in there that every time I would open my closet, I'd sit there and look at them and go, if I put that on, I'm not looking the part of the jewelry lady. I'm not looking the part of somebody who has my own business. I would be looking the part of more like half a hobo. Okay. So I went through and purged and got stuff out of my closet that did not say um, that I was someone who should be trusted to give fashion advice. <laughs> All right. So that might be something that you have to do. That might be something that's needed. All right. But it still comes down to say you are going to get so much more done. All right. Yes. Okay. You're going to get so much more done. Tie dye. Yes. Yes. Okay. I can tell you I have not owned a tie dyed shirt in years. <laughs> in years. Um, and it, it probably started that I got rid of it around the time of premiere. <laughs> Good job. Good job. Yes. It, and, and here's the thing. It can be such a freeing experience that even if it comes down to where you literally only have 30 articles of clothing in your closet between shirts, tops, dresses, etc., if it all fits and it can all mix and match, look, it's, that is such a freeing experience to know that everything in there fits, looks good, is of good quality, doesn't have holes in it. I can't tell you the number of shirts that I had to get rid of because they had all these little teeny holes. And I'm like, okay, it's time for me to just be done with this. I did keep a couple because those are my fishing shirts now. Um, but it's, yeah, you, I mean, you have to do that. You have to do that. So, um, but you're going to get a lot more accomplished if you're up, dressed, ready to go. So think of it this way. that it, Okay, for those of you who are teachers that now you're off for the summer, but you still have Premier or you still have another direct sales company, okay? Get yourself up, get yourself dressed and ready to go for the day just like you would have when you were still teaching. Because here's the thing, you're not really going to be doing your body any favors by getting it off of its natural sleep cycle that you would have created over the last nine months anyway. So you're better off still kind of staying on that same schedule. And if you're doing that, if you're getting yourself up and dressed and ready to go first thing in the morning, then you're going to be ready to go out and do anything. Um, one day, yeah, yeah. And here's the thing. It's not to say that you got to do it every day, but it's to say that on those days that you get up and do that and you get yourself ready to go, you're going to be more productive. You're going to be able to, you're going to feel like you should be working. Does that make sense? Okay, because here's here's the thing. When I'm in these type clothes, I feel like I should be working. I feel like I'm dressed and ready to go for the day and I should be working. Therefore, I tend to be more motivated to actually go work. If I were to get up and just put on my lounge wear, guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to park my butt on the couch, I'm going to get comfy cozy with a blanket, I'm going to turn on some HGTV, and I'm not going to get crap done. And then when my husband comes home, after he has busted his butt all day, and he comes home, and I have to look at him with the mentality of, oh, yeah, you had to work today. And you probably really worked hard. And he'll be like, well, yeah, I did, you know, so what, what do you, what do you got going? And I'm going, mm, well, um, I took care of a couple emails. Okay, seriously. All right. I, listen, so we have to make sure that we are giving ourselves that time to treat this like a real job. Get up, get yourself ready. And then guess what? If that friend calls you up and says, hey, girl, I happen to be in the area. Is it okay for me to stop by and pick up that jewelry that I purchased? You can say, yeah, sure, come on by. Now, if your house is a mess, like mine was the other night when that happened, I just met her out in the driveway, <laughs> okay? But I didn't have to rush and go get myself ready to go and everything else. I was already dressed. I still looked the part of the jewelry lady, okay? And it wasn't like a hmm, panic attack, okay? But here's the thing. If you do that, 
you can get out of your house and go do some things. All right, you can get out of your house, go meet some people. You can go do some of those lifestyle bookings. You can go do some of that lifestyle sponsoring. You can go meet people and they will not look at you confused when you say you are in the fashion industry. Okay, so yes, if you, yeah, go shop. Look, even if you just go window shopping for clothes. Okay, girls, real quick, and I'm going to touch on this real super fast because I already have you six minutes longer than I wanted to. All right, so for those of you who are in the jewelry business, you want to meet some some new people, you want to get some new contacts, you want to be able to um, get out there and try on some clothes and be able to figure out what works for you, what doesn't. Even if you can't go out there and purchase the clothes, listen, take a couple of jewelry pieces with you. Put them in one of your little jewelry rolls, okay? Go to stores where they will actually ask you, may I help you? Is there something I can help you find, etc.? okay? Don't go to Walmart. Ain't nobody there going to help you. In fact, even though they're supposed to talk to you, if you are even within six feet of them, they won't talk to you. And I know that because I used to work at Walmart and we had a six foot rule. <laughs> so go to a place where when you walk in the door, they're going, I, hi, how, how are you? Welcome. How, you know, is there something I can help you find? How can I help you? Whatever. Okay. That's where you want to go. You're going to go in there with your little jewelry roll that's filled with a couple of pieces of jewelry. You're going to pull those pieces out and you're going to say, yes, I would love some help. I am a jewelry lady and here's what I do. I get a chance to go into the homes of people, show off my jewelry, show the different versatility, be able to give these ladies free jewelry. But I'm looking for some outfits that are really going to make these specific pieces pop because I really want to be featuring these over the next couple of months. Do you have any suggestions? You have just told her what you do. You have just told her, you know, how you go about doing that. And listen, just because they just because they wear that product does not mean they're not looking for something else. Okay? Because here's the thing. I don't know about y'all, but if it because listen, they don't get a commission off of that jewelry. They might work there and they might wear it, but they're there hourly. Okay? They're simply there getting an hourly paycheck. They are not being given commission based off of jewelry sales, okay, in most cases, all right? But here's the thing. I want you to think about it this way. If it weren't for Premier, okay, if it weren't for me doing Premier, I would, yes, they wear it because they get the discounts. Exactly. Well, what if I can give it to them for free? Free is better than any discount. I don't care, right? <laughs> And here's the thing. We have different things. So it's not to say that it's to replace what they have, but perhaps that they could wear it with. Okay. So, but, but again, so here's the thing. So you go in there, you simply share, you know, I, I, I am in, uh, you know, Premier Designs Jewelry and I go into people's homes and we do in-home fashion shows. And I really want to be able to spot like these couple of pieces. Do you have any suggestions of tops or dresses that would look great with these pieces because you know what's going to happen you know what she's going to do she's going to take those pieces out of your hand she's going to now have those pieces in her hand and she's going to be walking around she's going to be putting it up against all these different tops and and dresses and everything else going hmm well, what do you think well yeah this one might work okay and in the process she's probably going to go so so wait tell me again what it is that you do because here's what you've done you have created somewhat of an interest in her because this is right up her alley. This is something that she is already doing because guess what? She also works in the fashion industry. And I can promise you she doesn't make 50% of everything she sells. Do you get where I'm going with this? <laughs> okay. She's going to continue asking you questions. She's going to be like, so, so wait, tell me again what it is that you do. Okay. Okay. And when you're there, you know, tell me like, are you able to do this? Are you able to do that? Whatever. Because she's trying to help you pick out outfits that are going to go with these pieces. So she's going to be seeing the quality of the pieces. 
She's going to be hearing about what it is that you get to do for a job. She's going to be hearing that you get an opportunity to give away free jewelry. Okay, there's so much going on there that chances are you're going to be able to walk out of there with a contact because here's the final thing you're going to say. If she doesn't already ask you, if she doesn't say, well, hey, um, do you have a business card that I could be able to, you know, follow up with you, whatever? If she doesn't say that, here's what you do. You say, you're so very welcome. Um, so here's what you do. You say, I just want to thank you so much for all of your help today. And I would absolutely love to be able to send you a catalog and a coupon in the mail. Or maybe you even want to send her a gift certificate in the mail. Who knows, maybe $25 in free jewelry for helping you out. Okay, it would cost you $12.50, but you just earned a new contact. Okay, does this make sense? All right, so you're able to collect her contact information. And here's the thing, if you tell her, look, I, I so appreciate your help. I really needed this today. And I really appreciate you being here to help me and giving me your expertise, you know, giving me your opinion and that kind of thing. Would it be okay for me to send you a $25 gift certificate in the mail along with one of my catalogs just as a special thank you? I just truly appreciate the time that you took out of your day to help me today. Listen, you do that, you have just gained yourself a customer for life, okay? So worst case scenario, you are at least getting that, that um, relationship built with her for the purpose of a customer, but you would have also dropped the seeds of being a jeweler and being a hostess, all right? So I'm going to leave you go on that. Does anybody have any questions um, before I let you go? And, and the other thing that I would add to that is if you want to go out there and do that kind of stuff, you're not going to be able to do that kind of stuff if you're not looking the part, okay? Does that make sense? So that's that's why we're saying it's so very important to make sure that you're looking the part and that you are taking this job seriously because you are a business owner. You are not a hobbyist, okay? If you were just a hobbyist, you know, yoga pants and t-shirt is just fine. But as a business owner, make sure you're looking the part, okay? Do we have any questions? If we have any questions, put one in the box. Otherwise, I'm going to let y'all go because I've kept you way too long. So um, I've been trying to keep our scopes closer to the 30 minute time frame, um, but sometimes it just gets away from us. What are you gonna do, right? Uh, you are so very welcome, so very welcome. Does anyone have any questions? Put a one in the box if you do. Otherwise, I will see you all tomorrow. Any questions, any questions? I think we're good. I think we're good. All right. All right, guys. Well, then I will just see you tomorrow. Tomorrow is our Wisdom Wednesday. Um, so I will see you guys tomorrow. So appreciate y'all being here. Thank you again. Uh, and don't forget, if you appreciated what you heard here and you know somebody else who might appreciate it, make sure that you pop back for the replay and hit share a broadcast and then you can share that link out with other people. All right. Thanks so much, guys. Have a blessed day. Bye-bye.